garden centres can be a great stopping off point to cool a radiator and have a cup of tea. But there's an even better reason to pull into the one in the village of Hassocks. One of my favourite things to do on a Sunday is go to my local garden centre and just have a peruse of the flowers. This one is a little bit different though because it has a museum of gardening, including this incredible collection of lawnmowers. Who knew there were so many of them? And this place is a shrine to all kinds of weird and wonderful gardening implements. Look at this, a cucumber straightener. <coughs> the perfect gift for a gardener who has everything. But the main event here is the lawnmowers. It really is a treasure trove of lawnmowers. But this, this is the jewel in the crown. This beast is Winston Churchill's lawnmower. And it's exactly what you'd expect his lawnmower to look like. And I remember this groovy machine which revolutionised grass cutting in the 1970s. The Flymo. It was like a hovercraft. That is probably the most technologically advanced thing my parents had ever bought. Back in the day, that was like from the future. This unusual collection was started by lawnmower history expert, Clive. Clive, how are you doing? Hello. Clive, this is an incredible collection. Is it your collection? It always starts with one, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Um, well, I've always been interested in sort of horticulture, agriculture. When I resigned from 35 years in banking, I set up my own gardening business and I was working on a solicitor's garden and he said he'd got five old mowers in his garage he was going to dump. And it started from there. But Clive's collection wouldn't exist if not for a bright spark 19th century inventor. Edwin Beard Budding, a hero of mine. OK. They were making equipment for the woollen industry, mm -hmm. and in particular, a cross-cutting table that took the nap off of wool. And we like to think he had that light bulb moment. He glanced out the window and saw the scythe men cutting the grass. Hang on a second. Yes, Aye. this uh -huh. could cut grass. The rest, as they say, is history. And the collection of eccentric gardening treasures continues to grow. <laughs> what on earth, Clive? In the late 1800s, most of the European wine production and vineyards were wiped out by a parasite and they would inject the roots and give it a good old pump and pump some obnoxious carbon bisulfide to try and get rid of this parasite. The experiment failed, but judging by the size of the syringe, it wasn't for want of trying. Can I, can I hold yeah, it for a second? Indeed. So what... <laughs> Probably this is my favourite item this month or yes. for the present time. Just imagine me coming towards you in a surgery. Don't worry, it's not going to hurt. <laughs> Just bend over. <laughs> but who needs medicine when Clive's incredible collection is a tonic in itself? What a delightfully different pit stop. <laughs>